All right, so now that we're in ZBrush, what we want to do is we want to customize the document that we were working on. So I'm going to get rid of Lightbox by hitting the comma or going to this button right here on the top left. And I'm going to expand the left tray and I'm going to dock the document window. And to get rid of this gradient right here, we have to go to where we see the background color and right below that the range the background gradient range we're gonna move it to the far left down to zero so there's no gradient right there to change the background color all you have to do is click and hold your mouse down and move your mouse around your UI and ZBrush will sample every color that your cursor goes atop of so in this case if I go to this alpha icon right here I will sample this gray if I go to this material color it will sample the color I can also use the color palette to look for a uh, color but I'm gonna stick to this neutral gray next what we want to do we want to change the dimensions of our document to do that deselect Pro click 1920 by 1080 or whatever the dimensions of your screen and then click on resize a window will pop up saying that resizing in the document is on an undoable operation would you still like to resize this document and just click on yes now when I bring a tool I'm gonna to select the sphere 3d and I immediately go into edit mode let me collapse the left tray you will notice that our image now is bigger than what we had before. If I hit tab, you will notice that the canvas has taken over the whole area. I'm gonna hit tab again. Now the last thing that we wanna do is that we wanna store this document so that every time we open ZBrush, we will get the same dimensions and the same color for our background. I'm gonna to go to save as startup document and ZBrush will tell us that the startup document has been stored successfully and will be loaded whenever you launch ZBrush.